think what drew me to it was the the idea that it's, it's a story that's been told so many times and one that we can never stop telling, but it was told in such a, a unique way that allows you to see World War II from a different kind of point of view and in a different light. And, um, and also kind of promotes the, the idea of killing hate with kindness, I guess, and yeah. It was such a unique script. I mean, it mm. came across, it's an impossible logline to pitch. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so it really, the script really spoke for itself. I mean, it, it had so many, so much of Taika in there, this kind of just unique balance of, of, of absurdity and, and then also such a poignancy um, you know, he, he's, has, he's so sensitive and, and whimsical and childlike in a lot of ways. And then he's also like this deep old soul. Um, and all of that came across in, the, in his writing. And, you know, even though it was a story that was very difficult to pitch because it sounded, you know, so out there, when you read the script, you really got a sense, you knew that it was going to work because it, it was coming from Taika's voice. There's such a strength behind this vulnerable, you know, kind of front and, um, you know, she's just very open, um, which I think is what makes a great actor is that you're open to all the possibilities um, and, you know, never kind of anticipating anything and just be able to be present in the moment and playful. And her performance has all of those things in it. You know, she's multifaceted. And, you know, I think another actor who was probably you know, uh, you know, a different actor would have maybe just kind of harped on the, you know, would, would have seen this character, as you've said earlier, as just a victim and kind of harped on that and the sadness and, you know, the, the emptiness that character kind of feels in her life. But, you know, Thomason really Im imbibed that character with so many, so many different kinds of emotions. She's very so present and full and full of life and in the middle of her life. And, um, you know, I think it's the, that vibrancy that's so, it's so beautiful to watch. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit intimidated because I was from, just because, you know, I've admired her work for a really long time. And, um, but she's full of so much kindness and generosity and I think the entire crew and everyone on set really felt really felt that felt that you were professional and you weren't you know obsessed with the whole idea that you've done, done so much in your life and achieved so much but you're still a human being um so yeah no it's such a such a pleasure so thank you <laughs> <laughs> and that I, I could say exactly the same thing there was you're always so present and and um open and and yeah generous I think it was great. I mean, I, I loved it a lot because it, it was it was fun and it was playful and I didn't, I felt like, I felt encouraged and I felt <clears throat> like I didn't really have to prove anything and that it wasn't kind of work and I felt safe, which was really nice. Your character was very suspicious of my character yeah, no. throughout the movie, so I'd get a lot of like mm. side eye yeah. from... Roman all the time, like yeah. he never quite my, my. trusted what I was saying. So I just, what, it's really easy to basically just pull down your eyebrows like that. Mm. What's so beautiful about seeing this movie with an audience is you get to experience the kind of slapstick humor and everybody just, I think, being surprised by how funny the film is and, um, and light and absurd in moments. And then, you know, you get hit with the reality of what's going on in these really poignant, powerful, quiet moments because there's like all this noise and craziness going on. And then it's just like, you know, you kind of get jerked into like the, you, you feel the stakes of what these characters are experiencing. And um, it's incredibly powerful. You know, it's a, I think Taika uses humor in a way um, to kind of invite the audience in um, and then, you know, once he has you held captive, he, he uses that uh, opportunity to really um, deliver a, a very powerful message. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it it's, was really uh, transformative to see the film with an audience because you get to see that, that play back and forth. It's so important to accept people for who they are and not to to put them down or to d discriminate just because they're different from you. The, yeah, the idea of acceptance, um, yeah.
and yeah, <clears throat> and kind of reminded that kind of children's minds are fragile, and mm. everything you say, it's gonna, it, it kind of, it doesn't, it goes far in a way, and how every hateful thing, it's gonna, it's a lot powerful than you actually think it is. Mm.